our reaction as the Gordon Party of Zambia with regards to the increase in fuel prices announced by the Energy Regulation Board yesterday. Uh, the price of fuel has been increased by four quarter plus for both petrol and diesel. And for us as the Gordon Party of Zambia, we are saying that the response by the UPND government to the global challenges, that, um, to the external challenges that the country is facing, for example, as the war in Europe between Russia and Ukraine, is that it has not been adequate. The reaction of the government has not been adequate. And we have heard a lot of people, including those who are in government, saying that there is nothing that can be done about what is happening to the fuel price. And we want to contend. We want to say that there is something that can be done locally to make sure that we stabilize the economy as well as the business environment. We've seen presidents, including the president of the United States of America yesterday, he addressed the nation and put up measures to ensure that the U.S. economy is stable. We've seen also other presidents and prime ministers in Europe also doing the same. I think the president should address the nation where he's going to put up local intervention measures to what is currently obtaining on the, on the market. Uh, it, it is not enough to just say nothing can be done. There's always something that can be done. As a party, we've proposed before that can we increase spending power to the workers at household level so that people can be able to spend more and meet the high cost of living. We can do that. We can set up a committee of high level management experts to look into these issues and make appropriate recommendations to the government. One of the things also the government can do is to review the cost of doing business in the country. I think it's abnormal that in the face of reduced production, in the face of reduced production by businesses, that we still maintain the very taxes that are, that are prevalent when the economy is doing very well. So there is a lot that can be done by the government if they really listen to the people and what the people are saying. And I think it is not too late to call for an economic endeavor so that we can be able to make proposals uh, recommendations to the government so that they can be able to come up with a solid plan. So for us, the argument that nothing can be done is not appropriate. Our people are going to be pushed further into poverty. As of today, as we are talking, because of the increase of prices yesterday, more people will not be able to afford millimeal. More people will not be afford uh, cooking oil. Somebody will not be able to pay rentals. Uh, and that's just at household level. When you talk about the social economic impact, it's grave. Crime will continue to increase. Criminal gangs in compounds will continue uh, springing up. Prostitution is going to go up. You know, there's a lot of things that uh, are going to be affected. And the government has a responsibility to respond to these issues. We cannot surrender ourselves as if we do not have brains. We have brains for us to think. The economies of Europe were built using brains. Any crisis that we can go in, we can come out using our brains. We are not short of solutions as Zambian people. Can we come together as a country and be able to come up with something that is going to protect the vulnerable in our society? We cannot just sentence them to a life of poverty and tell them to wait or to tighten their belts or to brace themselves for hard times. There is always something that can be done. Can we enter into that kind of approach? Can we enter into a mode where we are saying, let's look after our poor people so that we can build this country better and together so that we can prosper as a country? I thank you.